Hi friends, welcome to the class of design and analysis of algorithms. So in the coming lessons, I want to explain the following topics in tree travel cell algorithms. So I want to concentrate now on tree travel cell algorithms. So in that these topics I want to cover in the coming classes. That is disjoint sets, what are set operations, uh, what are spanning trees like uh, and uh, graph traversal methods like breadth first and depth first sets then connected components then in that articulation point it's a very important topic and also by connected component we'll see one by one with respect to algorithms okay we'll go to the first topic that is disjoint sets so disjoint sets all we know that basic definition of a set what is a set like it is a collection of some elements so we'll represent now what is disjoint set where if you take two sets that means there should not be any common element simply we can say that is a disjoint set that means if i take s1 and s2 s1 intersection s2 if i say that should be empty set like there should not be a common element like in this example if you take s1 s2 s3 s1 s2 s3 if you take where there is no common element if you see so now i can say that these three are disjoint sets that is sets are represented by pairwise disjoint sets like if i take two sets i can say that they are disjoint i cannot say one taking one set and it is a disjoint by taking at least two sets i can say that yes there is a disjoint because there is no common element if s suffix i and s suffix j are two sets of course i is not equals to j why because the same set you cannot take two times then there is no common element of course that is only your disjoint sets so if you take these three sets, so this is a basic representation of sets, that is disjoint sets. Now, how can you represent these sets? So there are three main representations here. We'll see here. So the first one is tree representation. Like if you have three sets like this, how you can represent in terms of tree? I've represented here, you can see like this. So among the elements here, among those elements, I will take one element, any one element as a root node and remaining all should be children if i consider a tree in the sense you should have a root node no root node and the children as well as branches so like this here if i take s1 so i have taken one as a root node remaining all should be a children and that arrow should be upwards here you need to remember this one and for s2 uh, i have taken two as a root node and remaining that is elements 5 and 10 as children and for three so there is no constraint that the first element only has to take the root node you can take any name node as root node and you should represent like this so this is you call it as simply tree representation now the second one data representation what is this data representation you can see here so data representation means here you need to write what are the sets here what are the sets we have s1 s2 s3 i will write here s1 s2 s3 so three sets i'll write here and pointer i need to connect with the root node of the set where is the root node here for s1 so simply like this you need to connect for s2 where is the root node here so i'll take like this this is simply giving some link with the pointer with the node here like this so this is a representation simply you call it as data representation where that pointer for each set has to represent the root node of that set tree so this is you call it as simply data representation now coming to the array representation this is very important here so array representation means here you can see i'll take all the elements in a set i'll take all the elements in a set now what i will do here is i'll take let us suppose the element as i now here i need to represent what is the parent of that node here parent of that node this is array representation now if i take i as one what is the parent of one anyway there is no parent no so for any node if there is no parent that means definitely root nodes don't have any parent for root nodes the default value is minus one so 2 is also root node, 3 is also root node. So remember this point, parent of any root node is minus 1. Remember this point. And now coming to the node 4, what is the parent of node 4? 3. So represent here. For 5, 2. For 6, 3. For 7, 1, 8, 1, 9, 1. 
and for 10 the parent is 2 so this is a representation here you call it as parent of any node so entire representation you call it as array representation that means parent of any node you are representing in terms of an array so this is you call it as array representation totally three representations are there like this you need to represent each one